Hi, welcome to this Microsoft Excel tutorial. David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate employees' email address from last name and first name. I'm going to look at different methods. First, I want to see how to use the ampersand, the flash fill, the concat, the text join, and the concatenate functions. And finally, we're going to see how to use the power query. So let's get started. Now, in our sample data set, we have the MID, the last name, the first name, and the department. Now, let's see how to use the ampersand method first. Now, the suffix is going to be at yahoo.com. So it's going to be, for instance, ferris.mary at yahoo.com and so on. Now, let's start. Equal sign. Click on B2. Then we use the ampersand and then we factor in the dot inside the double quote, another ampersand. And then we're going to use the value in cell C2, that is the Mary, and then another ampersand. So we need to factor in the suffix, which is going to be at yahoo.com. So I'm going to put that inside double quotation, okay, at yahoo.com. Then we'll close the double quote. And finally, we can click on Control Enter. Cool. We have ferris.mary at yahoo.com. However, we want it to be in lowercase. So I'm going to press F2 to open the formula and then carefully type in the lower function right after the equal sign. And then you can close the lower and control enter and then use the other field to fill down. Cool. Now let's do the flash field. This is very straightforward. Now it's very simple. I'm just going to type in ferries.mary at yahoo.com. Then click enter and finally. I'm going to use the shortcut that is Control E, and that fills down using a flash field. I love this. Now let's see how to use the concat function equal sign concat. Now the concat requires the text one, so the text is going to be B two then comma, and to put the dot, I'm going to do it, double quote then type in the dot inside comma, and for the text three, click on mirroring comma for the text four i'm going to put that inside double quote which is going to be at yahoo.com close the double quote close the concat formula control enter again we want to use the lower function to have it in lower case okay then control enter one two and we can use the other field to fill down all right so this is making sense now let's see how to use the text join function now equal sign text join now the text join requires a delimiter now in this case i'm just going to put in a comma and yet another comma okay to ignore empty cells now for the text one i'm going to click on the value in cell b2 then comma for the text two i'm going to do double quotes and then i put in dot inside comma for the text three click on C2, comma, and finally for the text for inside the code at yahoo.com. And then we can close the double quote and close the text join and control enter. Okay, let's put that in lowercase. All right. So just type in lower control enter one, two, and then we can use the auto field to fill down. So this is the text join method. Now let's see. Finally, for the worksheet function, the concatenate function, which is now an hold function. So equal sign concatenate, it works just the way the concat function works. Okay, concatenate, and it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna click on cell B2, then comma, let's continue in the formula bar. Then inside the quote dot, close the double quote, comma, and for the text three, click on c2 comma and for text 4 inside double quote at yahoo.com because this is an expression so it has to be inside double quote okay then we can close up the concatenate and let's quickly just type in the lower function outside and then we can close up the lower function control enter and then we can use the other field to fill down cool now this 
uh, the method using the ampersand, flash field, the concat, text join, and the concatenate function. Now, finally, let's see how to do the same operation using the Power Query. So, to get this data into the Power Query, I'm going to deploy Ctrl T to format as an Excel table. Click Enter, and then I can even right click and choose Get Data from Sheet, and that's going to open the Power Query. All right, so the data is now in the Power Query. So, what I'm going to do is simple and just click on Add Column. Under the general, click on custom column, and then I'm going to give name for the column. So it's going to be email address PQ representing Power Query. Now I'm going to use the text dot combine function. Okay, all right. So let me just delete this. Okay, so open the parentheses. Now I'm going to use the curly brackets. And then we can now specify in the columns. So I'm going to take the last, that is the last name column. Then I'm going to put a comma and inside double quote, I'm going to type in dot and another comma and then click on the first name, comma and inside double quote, I'm going to type the suffix, which is going to be at yahoo.com. Okay. And finally, I'm going to close the curly bracket and I close the text dot combine m function and let's just you know click ok and see the results all right now this is perfect so we have the ferris dot mary now let's use the text dot lower m function so i'm just going to click on here to put it in edit mode and carefully type in text dot lower Okay, then I'm going to type in text.combine. Okay, okay. So, having done it, open this parenthesis and then we can close off the text.lower m function. So, this is all we need. This is just like the normal lower function in the worksheet operation. So, I'm going to click on OK. Absolutely cool. So, we have the result. Let's change text. Okay, so I don't need other columns. So I'm just going to grab all the other columns and delete, hold down my shift key. Okay, and I'm going to just click on this email address that is for concatenate. Then right click and choose remove columns. So this is what we need. And then we can come to the home. I want to close and load. I want to close and load too. And then let's, you know, choose the existing. So choose J1 and click OK. So let's see the final result. Absolutely cool. So we have the Power Query result also. So this is essentially how we generate email address from different columns using different method. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give some like, comment, share, and you might consider subscribing if you've not done so. Thank you. I'm bye for now. Cheers.